Hello, and welcome to Canterbury. Nice country. A great place to live, work, and play. We were recently awarded the This Old House Magazine's Best Old House Neighborhood for 2012 Award because of our historic charm, small town friendliness, and wonderful community spirit. Our town has a lot to offer, and in this video, we will show you some of what makes Canterbury such a great town. Enjoy the show. We hope to see you soon in person. Connecticut Route 169, which traverses our town from the north to the south, has been designated a National Scenic Byway, one of only two in Connecticut and 120 nationwide. The Scenic Byway's website describes it in this way. Traverse one of the last unspoiled areas in the northeastern United States. This byway winds through history, passing colonial homesteads, churches, stone walls, meeting houses, and private schools as it connects classic New England towns. We are very proud of Route 169 and wish all scenic byway travelers a rewarding and enjoyable experience. The town of Canterbury is also very proud of its historic roots, and you can sense this pride in the many beautifully restored antique homes, churches, and other buildings throughout the town. In the center of town is our federally listed Canterbury Green Historic District, where you will find some authentic examples of early American homes such as the Prudence Crandall home, which was built in 1805, the Asa Bacon home, which was built in 1783, the Andrew Harris home, which was built in 1720, the William Moore home, which was built in 1803, the David Nevitz home, which was built in 1746, and the George Washington Smith home, which was built in 1886. There were others nearby as well, such as the Dyer Clark home, which was built in 1805, and the Francis Homestead, which was built in 1700, both of which are located to the south on Route 169. And to the north, you will find the Pillars, which was built in the late 1800s. In fact, if you drive our many back roads, you'll find historic homes throughout the entire town. For more information on these and other historic properties in town, please visit the Canterbury Historical Society's website at canterburyhistorical.org. Canterbury is also part of the Last Green Valley and offers many wild and scenic areas to visit, including Canterbury's Quinnebog River Greenway, which is very popular with kayakers and canoeists, and the Little River, which is a popular fishing spot for trout and bass. Additionally, there are many pristine wetland areas and acres of uninterrupted forest where bird and wildlife watchers will be rewarded with great viewing opportunities. We're also starting to develop a seven mile long, multi-use trail along the Quinnebog River Greenway. When complete, this should prove to be one of the most scenic trails in Connecticut. The Canterbury Athletic Association has a very active recreational program in town that features soccer, basketball, wrestling, and volleyball. Please see their website for more details at www.canterburyathleticassociation.com. Canterbury values its educational system and is very proud of its schools. We have an excellent elementary school located on Kitt Road. And on Route 14, you will find the Helen Baldwin Middle School. Though we do not have a high school in town, the ability for our students to choose from five local high schools is a great benefit, as all of these schools are well known for their educational excellence. They include two technical high schools, Ellis Tech and Norwich Tech as well as three conventional high schools, Woodstock Academy, Norwich Free Academy, and Griswold Senior High School. Canterbury is one of only a few school systems in Connecticut with such a diverse selection available to its students. And this selection is bound to satisfy every student's academic goals. The Canterbury Senior Citizens Group is very active and sponsors several activities, including monthly luncheons, exercise groups, painting classes, card games, and trips to places near and far. Canterbury's Agent to the Elderly is available to assist seniors in information and referral services. For example, this office can help you fill out energy assistance applications or Medicare applications and also provides referrals for a variety of other needs. Please contact the office at any time to set up an appointment. 
Canterbury has a rich agricultural heritage that continues to this day with our many and varied agricultural producers found throughout the town. With minimal regulations related to agriculture, Canterbury has become very popular with horse owners and farmers of all kinds. Our newly formed Agricultural Commission promotes all agricultural businesses in town and also provides opportunities for residents to become familiar with this important aspect of Canterbury's community life. Our farmers raise dairy and beef cows, alpacas, pigs and chickens, amongst others. They grow crops such as vegetables, fruit, corn and hay, and Christmas trees. Our forests also produce some really great maple syrup, as well as many other forestry products. We also have several large commercial growers located in town, such as Hart's Greenhouse and Canterbury Horticulture. To learn more about agriculture in Canterbury, please contact the Canterbury Agricultural Commission. The Canterbury Public Works facility is located on Kinney Road and houses the town's transfer station, public works garage, and school bus facility. With the help of some recent state grants, the transfer station has now become a state-of-the-art facility. The public works department is responsible for maintaining all 69 miles of town road, including snow removal at several town facilities. With a good variety of equipment and highly trained personnel, they can tackle most any project. They recently did extensive work on the transfer station upgrade project and completed several drainage improvement projects around town, such as the one you're seeing them complete in this video. Please be careful when you see them out working around town. The town hall contains all the offices you need to conduct down business. The selectman's office handles the day-to-day -day operation of the town and issues gun permits and 911 signs and manages the facility's schedules. The land use office is where to go to get information on properties, get a building permit, or submit an application to go before the land use boards. The assessor's office values all properties for tax purposes and is the place to go to apply for veterans, seniors, or PA 490 tax programs. The town clerk tax collector's office handles all the vital records of the town and is where you would go to pay your taxes, review or file documents on the land records, apply for or receive copies of various licenses or permits such as marriage, dog, dump and fishing licenses or death certificates. The community center is used by the town for meetings and gatherings but is also available for use by town citizens in nonprofit groups. It features a large bright climate controlled hall with a full kitchen and plenty of tables and chairs. See the first Sleckman's office for available dates and times. The library is very active with programs for all ages. They have a wide selection of books, movies, and CDs available for loan. They also have computer workstations for public use. And they also have a great children's section, which is bound to attract the attention of your little ones. You may also want to check out one of our parks, including the Guinea Preserve off Quarry Road, Frink Field and Manship Park in Canoe Launch off Route 14 near the Quinnebog River and the State Boat Launch on Butts Bridge Road. In addition, the state owns a lot of land along the Quinnebog as part of their Quinnebog Wildlife Management Area. Look to this area for the location of our future multi-use trail. Canterbury has a variety of local businesses located in our three plazas and all around town as small cottage businesses. Our three plazas contain a Cumberland Farms convenience store, three restaurants, a pharmacy, two package stores, a pub, a gym, a bank, gift shop, and hair salon. In the center of town is a better value grocery store, a Dunkin' Donuts, an antique store, cat hospital, and financial planner. Throughout town you will find various specialty stores and antique and craft shops farm stores and personal care businesses to help you with any need. And if you're getting hungry, we've got you covered as well with a variety of locally owned restaurants such as Dino's Family Restaurant, D&G Pizza and Pub, the China Garden Restaurant, and we can't forget Canterbury Cones for the best ice cream in the state. A few other businesses of note, on South Canterbury Road, Route 169, is Tony Lindenning's Maple Leaf Farm, 
Visit them in the early spring for a taste of their excellent maple syrup, or in the summer for their produce, gifts, and perhaps even some lumber if you have a need. Check out their website to see a video of the sugaring operation or to learn more at mapleleafarmct.net. On North Society Road, you'll find Quinnabog Kennels. Besides being the most beautiful kennel you've ever seen, Jennifer Broom, the owner, is a nationally known dog trainer who focuses on training hunting dogs. Clients from all over New England send their dogs to Jennifer for training and boarding. Check out their exciting website, which has a lot of cute pictures, at quinnabogkennels.com. Hart's Greenhouse started out in 1980 on Route 169 as a small business and has expanded to include a large growing facility on Bennett Pond Road and three retail stores, one right here in Canterbury on Route 14 and two others, one in Brooklyn and one in Norwich. Check them out on the web at heartsgreenhouseflorist.com. On Brooklyn Road, you will find Canterbury Horticulture. Driving by, you may not realize the size of this operation hidden behind the arborvitaes. Plants by the thousands are raised each year, many from seed to be sold via wholesale to landscapers in nurseries throughout New England. The Burnett family started the business in 1999 with just eight greenhouses. Today they have 75. If you buy a plant in New England nursery, just think, it may have been born in Canterbury. We also have the state's most beautiful venue for weddings and other special events, Wright's Mill Farm. Located on Creasy Road, there are waterfalls, country roads, scenic ponds, and historic buildings. Coupled with great service, all add up to a perfect place to hold your event. Check them out for your next gathering. www.wrightsmillfarm.com And Canterbury wouldn't be complete without a great community. Come visit us for our old home days, or the 4th of July parade, or any of our other special events, such as our past year's Wreath Across America event. As you can see, the small town of Canterbury has a lot going for it. Come and visit us, and perhaps even call Canterbury your personal or business home. Canterbury. Nice country.